In this second video, we're going to look at an example from PHP.NET, which is going to again clarify um, how closures work in PHP, and we'll also be able to see a bunch of object-oriented programming here, um, which is a bonus. So first thing we do is define our cart class, and inside that we have three constants, um, which is the price of butter, milk, and eggs, which are set to decimal values. And underneath that we have a products array, and this is going to be an associative array um, of all of the things in our shopping cart. The arrays indexes are going to be the product's name, such as milk, eggs, and butter. And then their value is going to be their um, price in a decimal value. The next thing we're doing is creating a simple add method. Um, all this add method takes is the product name and the quantity. So what are we putting in our shopping cart and how many? And then um, we just start building up this array. So um, we can see it getting called here at the bottom. We're calling it with butter and one. So then we add something to our um, array here. So this first one, the index is going to be um, butter and the quantity is going to be one. So in the end, um, this, uh, you know, this uh, products array right here is going to hold um, all of the things we want to buy and also their quantities. Let's just jump down to the bottom here and see how everything is calculated. So, um, you know, this program is so simple. All we do is we run this add method three times. We add the things to our cart. And then finally, we run this get total method again, which is going to give us the total amount we have to pay, um, including the 5% sales tax on it. So let's go into the meat of this example here now, which is this get total method. And get total. Um, it takes the tax as its only argument because of course we need to know the tax um, in order to calculate the total amount we need to pay. And the first thing we do is we set up our total variable. So this is going to be a running count of how much we need to pay and it starts off at zero. So after that we have our callback variable and this is set to a closure or also known as an anonymous function. And this function takes two arguments which is the quantity and the product and it is going to get this data um, from the associative array. And we also need to bring in two other pieces of information um, into this function scope, and we use that using the use keyword. And we're bringing in the tax variable and also the total variable. And you'll see the tax has no ampersand in it, so we are copying in um, the tax value right here. Um, we don't need to make a reference for it. If I put an ampersand in front of this and we refresh the right side, um, it makes no difference. So in the case of the tax, it doesn't, ma it doesn't matter if we're making a reference to the tax or if we're copying the value in. Um, it's not changing anywhere in the execution of our program, um, so it doesn't make a difference. But let's just um, remove that. Um, that's how the example is anyways. And uh, the next one, we have our total, vo total variable. And this one does have an ampersand in front of it, so it is going to make um, a reference to this total variable right here. So anytime we do something inside our function scope um, with reference to total here, um, because we're making a reference to that, um, the total variable in the parent scope, whatever changes we make inside this function, um, we are also going to change um, the total uh, variable in the parent scope, uh, which is what we want, because we want this one in the parent scope to be um, a running total of how much we need to pay. The next thing I want to talk about is quantity and product, um, the, these parameters here that this function takes. And you might be wondering, well, you know, how does this function know what these values are? Like I see, you know, I see get total being called down here, but we're only passing that to the tax. So how is this function, um, how is it able to get access to this quantity and product? Well, the answer to that has to do with the array uh, the array walk function in PHP. So the array that array walk, walk works is, um, first of all, it takes the, the associative array as its first argument. And the um, second argument is the callback function. So the way that array walk works is it is going to run this callback function for every single element um, in this array. And the way that array walk is usually used is this callback function um, should, take, um, should take two different arguments. And what, when it takes two arguments, what it's going to take is it's going to take, um, you know, it's, we're, we're looping through each element in the array. And the uh, first one that it's taking is the value of each element of the array. So in our case, the quantity. And the second argument 
is going to take the index name of each element of the array. So the first one is the uh, value and the second one is the name. So if we uncomment um, these two lines right here, um, you'll be able to see proof of that. We have one butter, two milk, and six eggs. And if we go to the bottom here, we'll see one butter, two milk, six eggs. So that's the way that um, array walk works. So let's just remove those from here now. And um, let's go into this next bit here. Um, price per item variable is set to um, this constant function. So the constant function, all that does is return the value of a constant. But we don't always know the name of the constant that we're going to be working with. So we're just building it up here. Um, underscore underscore class. Um, this is just going to return um, the class name that we're in, which is cart. So we have cart here, uh, cart colon colon price underscore, and then we're giving the uppercase of the product. And the product is going to be like butter, milk, eggs. So when this is finished evaluating, we are going to have um, these constants up here. And then we're just getting, um, you know, the prices of these constants here. And then we start building up our total. So total plus equals plus equals um, price per item times quantity, and then multiply that by tax um, plus 1.0. So the tax is um, 0.05, so this is going to be multiplied by 1.05. And what we can do here is just echo out the total, so you can just see how that's being built up here. And you'll see we have 7.29, 13.59, and then 20.21. And the final 20.21 is the output um, from the bottom here. We're running the get total method and we're echoing that out. So we're really just concentrating on the first three right here and we can see their um, running totals there. Now what I want to do now is I want to remove the ampersand from this total here and just to show you the difference um, if we're not making a reference um, to that total thing. So if we remove the ampersand we're not making a reference to it anymore we're copying that value of zero um, into our callback function. So let's refresh on the right side here now and you'll see that that's changed to 7.29, 6.3 and 6.6. .6. So we have all of the individual prices here and then finally this zero, well, we're running the get total method and the total is coming out to zero. The reason we're getting output like this is, um, you know, let's think about it. We're doing our array, our array walk uh, function right here and we're calling this function and this function is being run and then it needs to get the total so it's copying in this zero right here and then it's getting the price of the item and then uh, after that we're running this callback function again but because we have total here without an ampersand we're not updating this total value anymore the only thing we're doing is we're updating totals value in the local scope we're not updating it in the parent scope so because we just updated in the local scope, um, now you know this function is finished. It's it's totally returned, and then we call it again, and then here we bring in tax again. We we bring in the total, which is zero, and then we start from zero again, and then so we're just counting the individual ones each time. Finally, when we get to the bottom here, this return here, we're returning um, the total here, but what we're returning here is we're just returning the zero. Because inside this callback function, we've never made a reference um, to the total, which is in the get total scope. So we've just been updating this in its local scope. This total has stayed at zero the whole time. So then when we return this, we're also returning zero. And that's why we have a zero um, at the bottom here. So let's just remove this total right here. And let's refresh again on the right side. And of course, we need to put our ampersand back. So we're... Um, we're passing that in by reference, and we're fresh on the right side, and then we get our um, correct total of 2021.